Our today's lecture is about WLL. WLL stands for Wireless Local Loop. WLL is also known as RITL. RITL stands for Radio in the Loop. WLL connects subscribers to PSTN by using radio signals. It includes cordless access systems, proprietary fixed radio access systems and fixed cellular systems. WLL has two broad categories. Number one you have narrowband WLL system that is NWLL system. NWLL system replaces your conventional telephone system. Second one is broad broadband WLL system. B WLL system. It is used for high speed data and voice services. Further, WLL configuration is hybrid. So, WLL configuration is hybrid, which means that it has both wired cables as well as wireless local loops. So, it can have wired structure or it can have cables in the structure and uh, plus it has wireless local loop wireless local loop means it has radio signals in a very confined areas which provide the connectivity to your handset okay and uh, further uh, the deployment of uh, these uh, WLS systems is quite easy as compared to your wired counterparts so it has less cost for its deployment and uh, it takes less installation time okay so because of these things it is quite cheaper uh, as compared to its wired counterparts and it has less cost for its deployment and also it takes lesser time for its installation because it has hybrid structure it consists of wired as well as wireless local loops okay so in examples we can write uh, as uh, you can have these systems installed uh, in, in some residence area okay you can have some residence you can install it uh, in, 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 in some residence you can have another building that might be your office building okay it can be your office building and uh, you can have uh, uh, this these WL communication systems in some uh, other buildings like some government agencies okay and uh, all these uh, WL services they are uh, delivered to all these uh, different buildings uh, through some base station okay through a some through some common base station suppose this is your base station it will have certain antennas on it and in the back end you will have some uh, proper building where you have proper uh, mechanism proper machinery for it so this is going to be your building where all the equipments are installed which are necessary for the communication in the WL system and through this building to this tower you have a wired link this one is the wired link okay and uh, from 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 this base station you can have the wireless link to all these uh, different places to all these three buildings so it is better to write it like like this you will have the wireless link from the from the base station to all these buildings so this is this diagram shows the simple configuration uh, of your WL system now we will see the WLL architecture I will first draw the WLL architecture uh, I will draw all the components which are there in this uh, architecture this is the architecture for uh, WLL uh, system uh, and here on the left side uh, you can see that uh, these are the user requirements like uh, we user needs uh, uh, voice services 
user needs uh, uh, facsimile services user user needs uh, uh, modem to 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 uh, transmit data and user also need data services okay so these are the data uh, these are the services that are required by some some user who is using the wl and then all these things then all these services they are delivered by this riu riu stands for radio interface unit so this is your radio interface unit okay radio interface unit supports uh, around 1 to 32 subscribers so it can support 1 2 or up to 32 subscribers and uh, this device that is the radio interface unit it is either a desktop device or it is a wall mounted device which supports up to 32 subscribers okay so it supports 1 to 32 subscribers okay after that uh, we have another unit that is called as rp rp stands for radio port so i will write here rp it stands for radio port okay and this radio port sports 80 channels simultaneously so i will write here 80 channels are supported simultaneously okay and this radio port has one antenna and this antenna is omnidirectional antenna so it has omnidirectional antenna okay after that uh, you have another component uh, that is called as rpc so it is here this is rpc rpc stands for radio port controller so it is radio port controller radio port controller has sector antenna sector antenna and it supports around uh, 20,000 subscribers 20,000 subscribers and uh, around 32 RPs 32 RPs that is radio ports are supported 32 RPs are supported okay so here uh, from the diagram you can see you can uh, resemble this diagram with the basic architecture of your uh, gsm or gprs uh, like uh, rp here uh, works as uh, the base station you can see this is the rp and this works as the base station and rpc works as the msc so all the switching uh, uh, things uh, switching uh, uh, things can be done by this uh, radio port controller so all the radio mechanism they are controlled by this radio port controller and it has a sector antenna okay which has uh, some uh, directional uh, range and it supports around 20000 subscribers and uh, 32 radio ports okay and uh, along with this uh, at the top we have r pom this r pom it stands for radio port operation and maintenance so i will write it here as r pom this stands for radio port operation and maintenance so all the maintenance and uh, operations they are uh, controlled by this r pom because uh, it is directly connected to the network administration center where you have network engineers so which can control all the whole the architecture directly through this r pom unit okay then you have uh, uh, at the bottom here iwf iwf stands for internetworking function so i'll write here it as inter networking function okay this provides a gateway to your pdn pdn means packet data network or public switched packet data network so this is this stands for public switched packet data network uh, that is your internet uh, uh, this this uh, internet uh, uh, this inter networking gate function provides a gateway to your internet services and uh, uh, one more unit uh, here is that wll gateway it is here it provides a switching function it it connects your radio part of the architecture to the pstn uh, architecture okay pstn network that is your uh, landline network that you usually use at your homes and you see uh, here where you have a radio interface unit it uh, directly gets a signal from the base station or, or, the, or the radio port uh, here in this architecture 
through some radio signals and this radio interface unit it is uh, uh, connect it is uh, kept uh, somewhere uh, around in, in your home or it may be kept uh, um, uh, inside the home or outside the home and it directly receives the radio signal from the radio port radio port here functions as the base station and then uh, through this radio interface unit all these services like voice services fax services modem and data services they are provided to a WL user okay so this is uh, all about uh, the wll architecture fine thank you for watching